Next one is from <clears throat> Cinco de Rudy Mayo. Rudy Mayo. Something is Hangman Swerve. Hello from oh, there's another second email on this. Hello, hello from the desert boys. Love the show and thanks for you all you all you do. Conan, you were always one of my favorites and always made me proud to be Latino. Disco, you tried to do the same, but with the filthy animals. Do you think do you three think Hangman and Swerve went too far with the drinking blood angle? Even me, you guys have been watching wrestling for 40 years, made me sick. What was your take on that angle? Do you have any stories of your time in TNA with Kurt Angle, Conan? Who's obviously in this well documented troublesome stage where the IWC still to this day refers to him as Perk Angle. <laughs> was wondering if it was obvious backstage. Best podcast today. I show all the boys. Thanks again. This is Rudy Cinco de Mayo. Um, yeah, I saw the spot with the blood, and I, I'm, I'm repulsed too. I, it's completely it was, was completely unnecessary for me. Like, like he, like, like doing that, getting praise from people that would like that stuff, as opposed to like, you know, you should look at the criticism, because a lot of people were were, were repulsed by that. Um, Hey, Conan, anything? Uh, what about uh, Perk Angle? I did not know they called him Perk Angle. Yes, and neither did I. But um, yeah, you could tell he was backstage. It was a shame because everybody has respect for him. You know, great guy, friend of the show. Right. Um, love Kurt. You know what I'm saying? And he right. cleaned yeah. up, and 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 he he created and is a part of an app that helps keep people sober and stuff. So he's right. doing good. And things. he even sent us some really good. Um, the snacks. I forgot the name the of it. The delicious, snacks. yeah. 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 Um, he's the man, bro. Gold medalist, broken neck. It's all good with him. But yeah, it was a shame to see him like that. Definitely. The, the, yeah. the, the, chi the chicken snacks protein bites spelled C H X N dash S N S. Bomb. Yeah. They're not our sponsor either. Hello, ones. Yeah. Phenomenal. Next one. So, Daddy Mac Mac Daddy. Subject is Kota Bushi. Greetings, K100 crew. Conan, been loving the booking of AAA lately. Disco, always appreciate what you have to say. And Joe, well, Joe's there too. Just <laughs> like Nathan Peterman. Somehow always making an NFL roster. <laughs> My question is about Kota Bushi. When I saw this guy previously in the Cruiserweight Classic in WWE, and what little I've seen in Japan, he was great. Now I see him in AEW. Out of shape, barely able to ride a bike, and tapping people with a fake steel pipe. Is Kota Bushi beyond saving? I understand he just signed with AEW, but he strikes me as the kind of guy who's never really had any great facials and is now completely breaking down physically. Obviously, he's there because he's boys with Omega, but I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Also, do you have any stories of your time working with Super Kalo? Always loved his WCW gimmick. And what can we do to see Daddy Magic in AAA? Hmm. His promos have been fire lately. Daddy Mac Mac Daddy. Is this from Daddy Magic? Maybe? I don't know. Possibly. Conan, what about getting Daddy uh, Daddy Magic in AAA? Uh, yeah, anything can happen. I mean, obviously, he first of all, he'd want to have to go, then then I'd have to think of a story for him. But I think he'd get over. Super Colo, but I like him. I, just, I, like him. I like him more as a tag team. Right, mm. Super Super Colo. I was not impressed with his outfit, to be honest with you. <laughs> yeah, because you didn't understand it. So he was a very famous rapper that wore a hat on his head backwards like that. So they integrated into it. Like he was mega over in Mexico, the rapper and Super Calo. Um, one of the nicest guys in the business. I just saw him not too long ago. He may be making a surprise appearance in the future on a AAA show. Nice. Interesting. Now, what, what about, about Kota Ibushi? Na, na, I love Ibushi. I love the Golden Lovers angle. I love their matches. I thought he was great. Yeah, he was out of shape. It's almost like, it's almost like, bro, all these people are getting paid all this money and it's like, you know, let's just take the money while we can. Then, you know, I don't know, bro. Uh, yeah, he looked, he has not looked good at all in uh, AEW to me. All right, here's an interesting one from Brad Price. And subject is, what's the deal? I'm sure Cody will know about this. Hello, K100 show. The show that's truly back to its former glory days since that jobber Larry Dallas was removed. Show is great and love the content. What's the deal, Conan? What is a true story about Metalik and Commander's canceled AEW match? Dirties are saying it's because Commander is now being called the Master of the Ropes, which is the same nickname Grand Metalik had in WWE and probably before. Did Metalik 
really refused to job out. I do prefer Metalik over Commanders personally, and think he's far more polished in the ring as you'd expect. But what was the deal with the backstage drama? Do you have any previous experience with Grad Metalik? Amazing show, Brad Price from Bloomsburg, Pennsylvania. All right, thank you. Uh, well, Metalik started at a J. Metallic started at a <clears throat> at um. I think Metalik sounds better. All right, Metalik. So they he wrestled Bikingo in a GCW show, and he didn't want a job to him. And okay. then he wrestled Commander, and he didn't want a job to him. And they actually told him to take pack his bags and get out of there mm, really oh so they were they were not happy with that yeah they were not happy with that um in the year 2023 they, you literally have a guy that. They, yeah that, that's refusing to job for a guy and they're paying you and, and, and to, right. you're on tv and everything right really and wow. and and <laughs> right and you went back to arena mexico where you started and they don't want to use you anymore because they say you're asking for too much money <laughs> so yeah, he's a better worker than Commander. He's been in the business a lot longer too, but Commander's still learning, you know. But um, uh, still, you know, they're obviously they see more use in Commander than they do in you, and that's part of the business, you know. Yep. Just Next a little bit a on a. a, on a that on is a true. Bruce. That's hysterical. The guy refused the job, so they got told. Me, they told me go home. Yeah. yeah. Uh, just just a little bit on a on a bushi from before. You know, the guy was uh, critiquing his physical condition. Apparently, he had a serious shoulder injury in New Japan about a, about two years ago, and didn't return to the ring till March. And it looks like he's still having. He said in an interview he's not fully recovered, so he must be having trouble working his his upper body or whatever. Yeah, nobody, it is. No, Joe, nobody excuse. cares, Beth. Joe, nobody cares. I know. I'm the, I'm here for useless information. I mean, you, you, that, was, that was very useless information. Next <laughs> Charles Christian, subject two absentee champions. How do you feel as a booker about SmackDown having both the world and mid card champions as part timers? Um, I don't care if the show yeah. still works. Yeah, that's like Who's old. The, uh, that's like old thinking, like old eighties. Your champ has to wrestle. Yeah, but you were going ah, uh, uh, like you weren't sure. Now you're sure. Yeah, I'm sure. I, Bro, Roman I, Reigns it, it doesn't apply to today's it, wrestling. I don't think Roman Reigns probably makes like two hundred grand a match. Like, how many matches does he have in a calendar year? Five, maybe. Oh, more than that. But how should Joe look that up? Uh, yeah, I'm how gonna, many I'll matches get... did Roman Reigns have in 2022? And see what that number is. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, next is from Orlando Cantu. And the subject is Le Legacy Sups. Conan Joe and Mr. Disco in that order of importance. All right, let's suspend this guy. Let's give this guy a yellow card because he put uh, me behind Joe in Ooh. level of importance. All right. <laughs> My name is Rolando Cantu, and I live in Houston, Texas. Uh, after trying to find something to keep my energy up, chasing students around as an assistant principal says your strength saps your strength, I decided to try Legacy Subs. I've been using these supplements for a month, and not only has my energy come up, but it's helping to do my workouts even when I'm exhausted. I have to thank you guys and Nick on probation Aldis for such a wonderful product. My question. Conan and Disco are very different people. So when was the moment you guys realized you two had each other's backs no matter what? I've seen you two fight, but also also defend each other no matter what. There had to be a moment where you guys knew, I can, I can go to war with this guy. Thank you for a great podcast and advertising great products that work. Um, well, first of all, I never got that from Conan. I think he would sell me. I, I would think he would throw me under the bus in, in, in a heartbeat. What, what, do you, what do you have to say about that, Conan? Yeah, I don't know. We've always been, we always got <laughs> right. along since we met each other and we were always hanging out and you've always yeah. been cool. So I, I, there wasn't a moment like, wow, this guy, you know, you know, I, I, he's my ride or die or I know he got my back. Like I've Birds I always were chirping. That. Right. Uh, Roman Reigns DI had uh, 52 matches in 2022 and 11 this year so far. Well, you only had 11 this year? This year, 11 matches, yes. Ton of in rings. Right, yeah, he did, but I'm just saying. Remember when Jericho, when he when he get, when well, he bro, got but I, but I bet you anything. If we look at the years before that, like the three or four years before that, he was probably working a lot. But just think about the yeah. price tag that he has on a match. Right, it's unbelievable. Remember when Jericho yeah. was a. Uh, but he, um, when, but but when you've got a guy that could maybe go to Hollywood, right? Mm -hmm. Um. You know, because I, 
to me, he's like that, you know, rock Jason Momoa type, you know, that right. ladies like, the guys like him, you know what I'm saying? And right. he's got a chance to go to Hollywood and he's like, hey, I'll stick around, but if I'm going to stick around, I want to work these dates. And they're like, cool, you know what I'm saying? Something, cool. I, I, I'm, I'm saying, but they're cool with it and it's worked out. You know, he, you know, he doesn't have to be on every show. Hogan was on, on every show. Well, here's my in point. WWE in, in the heyday. Here's my point. It's like when uh when I work in when I worked indies, okay, I was making depending on where I was working, what how far was my house, I was making between like five hundred to thousand dollars a match, right? That's my indie price. So remember when Jericho left WWE <laughs> and he basically like he wasn't taking indies, but he wrestled for New Japan for like hundred twenty five thousand dollars, right? For one match. So then he like he wasn't working a lot of injuries. It's like, well, well, Jericho's like price tag is like a hundred K. That's like his 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 indie price tag for a match. Like a hundred thousand right. dollars, which would be like, wow, you can and, and he could actually get it too, right? Right. Bro, I've never seen like if you look at like price per match, look at what Roman Reigns is getting per match. If you look at what he gets paid at the end of the year and how much how many times he worked, it's like his price tag per match is like it's almost like two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Or more than that this year. This yeah, year's like half, a, like half a million bucks a match, probably. It says but here there's, he's... There's, uh, there's, there's many reasons why WWE is doing great business right now. But he is definitely, with Paul Heyman, the main reason. Absolutely. And his Next, downside is, is $5 million. Wow. And that's before, you know, shirts and any bonuses, right? Next Ooh, is some Jim Leonard's. Yeah. 